Crozier will now present the valedictory address.
Christmas and Trail pointed out, they have taken much time out of their lives to help us. But I think the more important point is the time that they've taken out during class to treat us as human beings. They've treated us as, as adults. And not only have they looked us straight in the eye, but occasionally they've looked up to us and shaken our hand and given us congratulations, which is more than probably anything that we could ask for. The other group of people are the parents here before us this evening. I am truly blessed to have a family who is very supportive and loving. And on behalf of all the students who are graduating this evening, I give my deepest and sincerest appreciation to all those who have been equally blessed. We will soon be stepping out into a very different world. At times, we will feel lost, and there will be nothing but experience to guide us. That is why we must remember everything we have learned in the shoot. Most importantly, we must remember what we have learned about ourselves and be proud of who we are. In closing, I would like to read a quote from Miriam Evans Cross. It reads, Any coward can fight a battle if he is sure of winning, but give me the man who has the pluck to fight a battle he is sure of losing. Ever surrender to this world, no matter how desperate or close, or as all true Trojans know, he only conquers who conquers himself. Please do not let this life pass you by. Remember the words of Mother Goose, and most importantly, remember what this school has meant to us. This being the final time we shall be together as a group, I would like to wish you all the best of luck. Good evening, and God bless. Thank you very much.
received his Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Education degrees from the University of Moncton, and in 1978 received his Master's of Education degree in Administration. He began his teaching career as a mathematics and science teacher at Stanley Regional High School and was later appointed principal in an elementary school in the same district. In 1960, he returned to Moncton High School as a mathematics teacher, and with the opening of Harrison Jumbo High in 1961, he was appointed as a mathematics, mathematics teacher at the new school, where from 1966 to 1968, he acted as head of the mathematics department. In 1967, he was appointed vice principal at Harrison Trimble. From 1969 to 1972, he was director of summer school for this school district 15. In 1972, upon retirement by Mr. J. Raymond Tippett, he was appointed principal at Harrison Trimble, a position he held for 18 years until his retirement in 19. 1990. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this evening's guest speaker, Mr. Reg Constantine. Thank you. 
is so fine. The tape is still running. Life is still moving. There is much to maintain and much to improve. And this is your challenge. One of the things that graduation says is that you are now ready to get more out of life. When you learn to read, a whole new world opened up to you. When you learn to understand how a machine worked, or how a government worked, or why a plant thrived in the sunshine, other worlds opened up to you. We always speak of growing up. We don't simply mean growing taller. We also mean moving higher. Like climbing up a mountain so you can see more and farther. The 1993 graduates of Harrison Trimble have climbed that mountain. It was easier for some of you than for others. But for all of you, it was an accomplishment which your parents, friends, and teachers applaud. And it is only fitting to say to you, as we salute you for that accomplishment, that truly, this is only the beginning. In conclusion, with this final observation, I'd like to conclude with this. One of the greatest achievements of graduation is just sitting through this ceremony. Congratulations and thank you.
Natasha Lynn Adams, honors. Blair Lewis William Allen, honors. Sherry Ann Allen, honors. Todd Frederick Allen. Marie Valerie McCall Montill. Jason Logan Anderson. Keith Sheldon Andrews. Michael Lee Arms. Paul Jacob Arsenault, honors. Shane Charles Joseph Arsenault. Shelly Lynn Arsenault. Tanya Lee Marie Arsenault. Jody Lynn Becker. Sonia Lee Burns. Michelle Dion Burnett, honors. Marie Tina Fastrash. Tracy Ann Beers. Tina Bernice Belbo. Santa Joy Betts. Dwayne Joseph Birmingham. Amy Lorraine Blackwell. Stephen Allen Warren, absent. Heather Ann Woodrow. Peter John Boma. Kevin Paul Burke. Sandra Lisa Burke. Stephen Roy Moodlier, recipient of the Moncton Football Bursary of $500 presented by Mr. Eric Peters. Also recipient of the Moncton Volunteer Firefighters Association Prize of $100 presented by Mr. Bob Buchanan. <laughs> Pauline Louise Bradford. Michael Dale Branscombe. 
recipient of the Tanya Bryan Memorial Bursary of $500, presented by Betty Doucet and Tim Bryan. And recipient of the Birch Mountain Home and School Bursary of $150, presented by Mrs. Denise Casey. Jason Sterling Cutmore. Tracy Lynn Davis. Jennifer Lynn Dobson. Recipient of the Modern Business Conference College Bursary of $200, presented by Mr. Donahue. Recipient of the Federation of New Brunswick Faculty Association Medal presented by Mr. Robert Wallace. And also the recipient of a $200 award presented by Mr. Wallace. Bruce Leslie Dryden.
Christopher Bronson Lightfoot. Honors recipient of the J. Raymond Tippett Memorial Award of $500 presented by Mrs. Patricia Tippett and also the recipient of the Bishop's University Renewal Scholarship for a total value of $10,000. Recipient of the James Roberts Memorial Scholarship of $1,000. 
Jerry George Melnick, absent. Jeffrey Paul Matat, honors. And also the recipient of the Gordon Yard Diesel Shop bursary of $200, presented by Mr. Royce Gurley. Thank you. 
presented by Mrs. Diana Anderson. John Rosenberg and Absence. 
Sherry and Marie Tomlinson.
Stephen has had a very active athletic life at Trimble for his three years here. Football for all of those three years. Two of these, he was a team captain. Rugby for three years, and he was a captain this his final year. Stephen has acquired more activity points than any other student in the school this year. He is a strong academic performer. On the honor roll, all three years at Trimble averaged well into the 90s. Stephen has participated in the intramural program. He's been a cheerleader. He's been an actor in drama. He's on the school spirit committee, and he was an executive member of the student council this year. And as you discovered earlier, he was chosen by his class to be their spokesman as the valedictorian. Ladies and gentlemen, student award winner, Stephen Crozier. Extreme. 